Hi, sweethearts. No, thanks, sir. Ah, uh, there is an emergency. Yeah. Only you can help. The cat again, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know what's wrong with us. And if we don't get coffee soon, we will die. Die. There are two cafes around there, you know. Yeah, but your cafe is cheaper. Dirty, but cheap. Yeah, a little bit like your mum. <laughs> right, come on, put up. <laughs> ah! <Ooh. laughs> hey! Just been knocking on yours. Oh, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, Sinead's just rung. They're letting Bertie come on. Finally! Yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna go and get him now. Oh, you'd like me to come with you? No, no, I'll be fine. Oh, well, look, is there anything I can do? Just let me know. Well, you could always do a night shift. The three hourly feeds are a bit of a killer. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but we'll have to have, like, a welcome home party or something, yeah? Absolutely! We didn't do any structural work on the roof. No. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have collapsed. Yeah, and then killed someone. On a wedding day. Oh, this is terrible. Right, shouldn't you be making tracks? Oh, yeah, and thanks for this. Oh, no worries. She has a boyfriend. What? No, I refuse to believe that. I know what you builders are like. Oh. Hey, you got some. You will have a written statement for the work on the factory, yeah? I mean, you can prove that you weren't working on the roof. So they can't blame you for it. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. Besides, I've got other things to think about, like trying to make enough cash to get our own place again. And that's why we are here. Jan? Well, we've got onto this new build. The gaffer, he's got his own gang, but he's still looking for a few good men. What, well, they're looking for trade? Subcontractors. And the man is so much better than in-house. Mm -hmm. You should get over there and see him. He would be stupid not to take you on. Mm. That sounds perfect. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. Yeah. Cheers, lads. Where are you off to? I just got some stuff to sort out. Business stuff. Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. You know, Rana was... I know. Did Carla mention anything to you about the factory roof? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, to be honest, we don't really talk. You know, I've been so busy, you know, with the barbershop and the divorce. You're lying. I don't know what you're talking about. You're hiding something. Oh, no, 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 I, I'm not hiding anything. And where is she? Carla? Yes, Carla. Right, I'm got the foggiest. She's your business partner. Yeah, and the last person in the world she can find in. We, uh... We had a little disagreement. What about? It doesn't matter. Certainly nothing to do with the factory roof, OK? Now, if you don't mind. Morning. Do you sleep okay? Uh, no. I, I, um, I should get ready. No, there's no wash. I, um, I have some things I need to sort. Look, I think it'd be good for us to spend a bit of time together today. Everything's happened so fast with the funeral and you've not had time to process it. You've got to give yourself space to grieve. Oh, I'm OK. I am. I, um... I just have a, a few things on my mind today, that's all. Well, then let me help you with this. They are things that I need to sort out by myself. But I... I need to find out what happened to that factory roof. And who's to blame? Nick, Carla, or both of them? Two teas, please. I've been the mother. Warm bacon and egg bound to go. Cheers. I shouldn't have told anyone where I was going. I should have just gone in the middle of the night without a fuss. You can't go. I can. You belong here. You've got family and friends. Yeah, and they all hate me. Oh, give it time. People move on. Well, Sally won't. She'll come round. She hates the sight of me. No, I know I've said it before, but this time it's for real. I'm, I'm out of here. 
Not stopping. Just need you to tell me where Carla is. I, I don't know where she is. Have you tried calling her? Come on, I wasn't born yesterday. Excuse me? You know where she's hiding out. <laughs> she's gone away for a couple of days. She's not hiding out. She's done a runner. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. See, I think that she knew that factory roof was going to fall in. And now she's lying low, waiting for all of this to blow up. <sighs> You, you can't seriously believe that. Did she say anything to you about the state of it? No, she didn't. And I'm pretty sure if she knew, she would have closed the place immediately. Look, I... There's no way that Carla would have risked anybody's life. End of. Yeah, he's around the corner. I'll be with you in two minutes. All right, bye. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, didn't go well, then. Well, exactly how I knew it would for someone with no proper site experience. You've got plenty of experience on building sites. Not got any qualifications. We don't need qualifications to be a labourer. I know. Well, this is stupid. Hang on, are you doing that thing where you're pretending not to have a job when you actually have? Yes, Eileen. Oh. I am totally doing that thing. I start tomorrow. That is great news. You can start paying rent again and I'll probably put it up. No, I'm dead pleased for you. I'm proud. Look, Tim's coming in to cover while I'm on my lunch, so I could treat you to a hot pot in the Rovers if you fancy. Yeah, cool. Only on the condition that you let me treat you when I get my first wage. Deal. And you don't put my rent up. We'll see. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I didn't know you'd be here. He's got a job. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's on, uh, it's on some, some site in Presswich, far away from Gary and his stupid mates. Fairfield executive living. That sounds great. Well done, kidda. Thanks for lending a hand, Shell. You're all right. I'm always happy to help with the family business. Hey, maybe I could do a shift here, eh? <laughs> oh, maybe not. No, it's fine. I'll just wash them. <laughs> Again. Didn't want to work here anyway. Yeah, well, you've already got a job, so shut up. Yeah, but I could deal with another. I mean, I'm not exactly coiling it in from a few shifts at the beast room. Yeah, well, I need you there. I want to be your eyes and ears, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Robert's not thick. He's gonna know that I'm spying on him, isn't he? Okay, so then convince him that he's being paranoid. Laugh it off. Come on, Ryan. You're a clever lad, you know what to do. Why do you want now? I just want to get a sense of what happened. Well, the police and the safety experts are investigating. I know. This is for me. And Rana. Okay. But I was only in there to work on Rana's dress. So, no, I didn't see anything strange. Nothing out of the ordinary? No. I mean, the factory might look like a building site from the outside, but, yeah, on the inside, it just looked like it always did. There you go. Thanks. Although I did hear some What? Well, I was listening to Gaga, and I thought he had something funny, but it was just cats fighting, so I thought, oh, well, that was that. Hey, it might not have been the cats. That noise could have been the roof starting to give way, couldn't it? It's a miracle I'm still here. Oh, sorry. I, I mean, um, it could have fallen on any of us. All of us. Although I wasn't meant to be in there anyway, was I? Nobody was. Especially Sally and them stupid protesters. No. Don't <laughs> kick off. <laughs> just, just try and keep it civil, eh? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Gary Winjas don't bother me anymore. Ah, uh, you two lads? Yes, yes, please. Hey, yeah. listen, I'm getting these. The sorted made job out. Huh? The three musketeers are back. Yeah, Larry, Mo, and Curly. Okay. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Hello. Oh, you're back. Like a bad penny, hey? <laughs> Can I get you a drink? I I'm fine, but I think I owe you one. Everyone wants to buy me a drink today, eh? Hey? Well, that's because we're a friendly bunch. All of you. Go on. Mm. All right. You're a good man, OK? I will leave you to your food. I'll see you later, perhaps. Perhaps. Oh. He's a nice man, isn't he? <laughs> Hard at work already. 
you got my text then. The van's packed and I am going to hit the road <laughs> first thing. <laughs> Maybe you can put a deposit down on one of them houses. No, 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 we're not posh enough for press week, are we? <laughs> and anyway, as soon as we're finished, they won't be letting us anywhere near Fairfield Executive Living. That's what the tall fences and security are for. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with those drinks? That one's not empty as well, is it? No, it's not that. What's happened? Gary has got a job at the same site as me. Can you believe it? The same site, me and him. He could have got anywhere, right? Anywhere, any job around here, and he gets the same one as me. I'm sorry. It's just so unfair, just when I think I'm getting somewhere. You know, be a big sigh. There's a good chance that you won't be working side by side with well, him. Well, it's not that big. And even if it was, we'd still be in the same hut for bruising that. You right? Yeah, a long time no see. Oh, I, mean, I didn't mean, you know, oh, well, see you like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, look, this doesn't, it has, no, it doesn't have to be awkward. No. No, because, you know, no. it was it was just one of them things, oh, yeah. really. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. So, are you good? Uh, well, not really. Um, Seb and Gary are going to be working on the same building site. You are joking. I wish. So maybe it's time to bury the hatchet? Yeah. Well, maybe. I just need to find a way that means I won't have to spend a single second working with it. He'll come round. Thinking we could do something for Rana. Like what? Well, a couple of people said because the funeral was so quick, they didn't know. So I, I don't know, a, maybe a memorial thing. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Come here. Uh, Sam has got a job on the same site as you. You're joking me. Is, that, is there anything that he could do to ruin things for you? What do you mean? Like, oh, talk to your boss and get you fired before you even start. No, that won't happen. Besides, we're experienced and he's just a daft kid. Daft and angry. Yeah, well, let him do what he's got to do. It's not skin off my nose. I'm really sorry. I know you've been waiting. Uh, we've had a bit of a rush in the kitchen, so I'll just go chase down your meals now. <laughs> oh. First. Sorry? So we can continue our conversation about you mentoring the young offenders? Oh, uh, right. Uh, let's do us a favor. Can we talk about this some other time when it's not like middle on? Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really excited. I've been talking to this young girl. She really wants to train as a chef. She could come in this week. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'd like to help, but I'm, I'm kind of up to my eye. <sighs> table six, table six. She's, she's a really good kid. She really needs a break. Uh, yeah, sorry. I know I said what I said, but Michelle and me, the way things are, I, I, I've got enough one. I'm sorry. Yes, hey. table six, need a mate. Do you need a hand in that? No, thanks. Right, well, I'll take over a couple of complimentary drinks, all right? Smooth yes, good thinking. Why would anybody choose a butty over a meat pie? A salad balm is a healthier option, Timothy. You're not supposed to eat the salad, love. It's for decoration. All right. Hey, up. I saw you in Roy's earlier. I didn't want to disturb you because you were deep in conversation with Gina. Yeah, yeah, she's all over the show. Well, actually, she's not. She's here now, but better soon she'll be in Newcastle. Right, permanently. Well, she's moving. She said it before. Yeah, well, this time she means it. Well, it's probably for the best. Bit tight. Look, despite everything what's going on, she's still Sally's sister. Gina's daughter lives in Newcastle, so everybody will be happy. Look, I can't believe you're turning your back on her like this. Have you just come here to see your nebby nose in? No, I've come here because you still haven't paid the bill at the garage oh, yet. Oh, come on. Look, I could desperately do with the cash. Well, I haven't got it. Hey, calm down. Any idea when you will? I've just done a double shift, right? And I haven't chance to do me banking yet. When I do, you'll get it. Yeah, I will be. What do you mean? Well, I'm leaving. Um, getting away from here and going to be with people who actually like me. I like you. Thank you. Yeah, come here. Hey, don't be too kind to me, eh? I've made my mind up. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Weatherfield, Bertie. 
You feeling okay? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it just being us two. You and me. No doctors and nurses appearing every five minutes. Just us. Right, come on. Let's get you out. Hey. Look, I know you've got a head full at the moment, but I wondered if you could take a bit of time out, get something to eat. Yeah, just give me a minute. Oh. Have you caught up with Carla Connor yet? You know that she's responsible for this. Mr. Habib, as I have said previously, this is an ongoing investigation. And, and I'm wasting my time talking to a job's worth. Come on. If you can't prove that this is Carla Connor's dirty work, then I will. Come on, love. Just... Doing? No. No, it must be Beth. Well, remember, I took the key off her. She kept stealing our milk, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Well, then who? Ah, caught me. This is you? Yeah, I wanted to surprise you. Oh, oh thanks, Ken. <sighs> Welcome home, young man. Does he look bigger to you? He's a colossus. <laughs> uh, do you want a brew? I'll get it. No, no, you won't. You think we'll be all right? What do you mean? We don't know what we're doing. Well, um, I'll let you into secret about parenting. None of us know what we're doing. You just have to pretend that you do. Another one? I better not. Uh, you're putting me on. Yeah, I, I just gotta get home. I've got a million things to do. <laughs> Someone's got time? Yeah. Hey, we were just talking about organising a memorial. A memorial? Yeah, I think we should do something. We can do something by finding out the truth of what happened. I imagine Kate wants to do something positive. You don't think there's anything positive in finding out the truth? No, that's not what I'm saying. Why do you feel the need to get in the middle of everything all the time? Wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. Wandering around like you're Kofi and Nano. Look, everyone is trying their best, right? Including me. Are you all right? Oh, I've been better. Yeah. Have you heard Gina's leaving? Again? Yeah. Aren't you going to talk her into staying? No, I'm sorry. Look, me and Seb aren't exactly besties. And the twins, well, you know. What I'm trying to say is, I know what it's like not to have your family on side. Look, Gina's gonna be fine. Whatever she does, whatever happens to her, she always manages to land on her little tootsies perfectly fine. Oh, well, maybe, but... Look, I'm sorry. Got the things to worry about at the moment. Well, what's more important than your own sister? Whether I'm to blame for Rana's death. Don't be daft. Well, there's people around here still pointing the finger at me, aren't they? Sal, you're innocent. Yeah, and I was innocent of fraud. I still ended up in prison. Oh, I just bumped into um Wayne. Long time no see. Camping with Roy and Haley about a million years ago. Wayne. Sorry, I did leave a couple of messages on your landline and mobile. OK. I was hoping you could answer a couple of questions about the factory. Me? Well, what would I know? You may be able to help piece together the sequence of events. Mum. Hi. It's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little update. Yeah, but Robert's like a headless chicken. Chicken. Yeah, we actually do um, uh, chicken kebab as one of today's specials on a skewer with peppers and cherry tomatoes served on a bed of saffron rice. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry, that was it. Yeah. No, it's... I mean... Right. Listen. Uh, yes. Is this for table three? You're right. Yeah. Yeah, sorry again. Listen. No. No, he's not his usual self. No, he, it's like he's got too much on. He keeps forgetting orders, mixing things up. And he's refused to help Billy out with that work placement, whatever. He's spying on me. What? 
No, it's a customer. Bring it on your mobile. Give us it. No. Now. Look, Robert, people are looking. Get out. Hang on. I mean it. Get out and don't come back. You're sacked. You can't sack me. I can, and I am. Table three. I think you getting these jobs a really good sign. I hope so. Yeah. I think things are finally looking up. Hopefully. Uh -huh. We couldn't have got much worse, though, could they? Yeah. Ah! Have you finished your chips? Yeah. Mm. Ah! I'm hoping you out. Oh, well, do you know? Well, thank you very much. But um, I think I'm fine as I am. Oh, greedy get. That's the survival of the fittest, isn't um, it? More like fattest. I'll get you for that. Oh, will you now? Yeah. Well, you'll have to catch me first, fat boy. You... <laughs> you can have to run faster than that, aren't you? Get here! I'm not going to fall for that, am I? Oh, no. My tools! They're gone. Do you know we were just turning a corner? And how are you meant to start a new job if you haven't got any tools? Oh, this is Seb, isn't it? Hey. Well, he said he didn't want to have to work with you. Now he's made sure of it. I don't think we should jump to conclusions. Darling, I'm not jumping. It's obvious. You can't let him get away with it. You're going to have to go to the police. Look, will you just calm down? I don't want the police sniffing around, do I? Not with all this going on at the factory. It's two totally unrelated things. They're not going to know that you've been lying to the inspector. Look, can you just let me deal with this, please? But I'll decide what we do and when we do it, OK? OK. Yeah, fine. I'm trying to help you. Oh, Hang on a minute, mate. My wife was injured in that roof collapse, so why are you interrogating her? No one's interrogating She's anyone. She's a victim, so why are you giving her a hard time? Tim. And shouldn't she have a solicitor present? Mr. Tim. Metcalf, I'm not the police. I'm the health and safety inspector, and I'm talking to all the factory staff who were there to gather as much information as possible. I'm sure you want to find out why the roof collapsed. Yeah, I do. Great. We're on the same side, then. Is it all right if I sit? Um, would you like a cup of tea? I can always put kettle on. No, you won't, Sal. I'll do it. Well, well I'm going to stay here. That's fine. Just make sure you go easy on her. She's not long out of hospital. I'll be as quick as I can, I promise. And I really appreciate you giving me your time. What do you think you're playing at making my tools? I was going to call you back. I just couldn't answer at the time, OK? Yo, I don't appreciate you helping yourself to my stuff. I've got an... Hello? Hello? <sighs> Oi, you just covering the office? I'm entitled to a lunch break, you know. Yeah, well, don't be long. I won't be. Hey, your man's just had a go at me for nothing. I mean, I know he's grieving, but there's no need to take it out on everybody else. Yeah, he's the same with me. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. Do you know, I'm really worried about him, Lee. He's so angry. I'm scared he's going to crack up. Well, do you know what? It's you I'm worried about. What do you mean? Well, I'm not being funny. I know he's lost his dad and his sister and he's grieving and he's bound to be a bit screwed up. But you've only been with him a few months. It's a lot for you to take on. Oh, what? So I should dump him now on top of everything else? Yeah, that's really going to help him. So yeah, you his girlfriend, not his counsellor. It's all right to think about yourself sometimes, you know. Yeah, well, I'm fine. Thank you. Honestly, you can just stop worrying. OK. See you later. See ya. And then I accidentally dropped the banner off the scaffolding and Gina got really cross with me and we ended up having this massive row. Well, I did most of the rowing, really. And you were still on the scaffolding at this point? Yes, and we were... Well, we were going to come down and Gina said she'd help me because she knows that I'm scared of heights. And... She went to take my hand and... Yeah? And then I... Stepped back onto the roof and, and Gina tried to pull me back onto the scaffolding, but we sort of had this tussle and... And then... Oh, well, my mind's gone blank from there. I woke up in hospital. Thank you. I appreciate it's hard for you having to relive all this. Could 
Could you... Could you show me where exactly you were stood on the roof? Um, we weren't there. OK. And did you notice anything about the roof? Any damage anywhere? Anything out of place? No, sorry. I was just too caught up in being a stupid idiot, to be honest. I should have accepted her help. I mean, I was just being... Stupid. I didn't want to lose face. I'd... Because Gina was right. I had dropped a banner on purpose because I was mad with her. I was being petty and small-minded and... Right, come on, that's enough. I'm not having you upset my wife anymore. Come on. Mrs Metcalf, are you saying you feel responsible for what happened? Ow, now. Because I can assure you you're not. But if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have been on that roof. Yeah. But that roof should have been capable of holding 100 kilograms per square metre. So please don't think that you were in any way to blame for its collapse. Really? Really. Right. I think that's everything I need. So, I will leave you in peace. Thank you so much. You've made me feel so much better. Uh, uh, thanks. I'm, I'm sorry if I was a bit... Uh... No problem. Goes with the job. I'll see you out, mate. Uh, seven. Hang on a minute. You know what, you? You're really starting to get on my nerves now. You what? Don't act innocent, Seb, because you know exactly what. And if Gary doesn't go to the police about you, I will. Do you mind explaining what's going on? Ask him. I, I have no idea. He broke into Gary's van and he nicked his tools. Why would I do that? Out of spite, because you're a sulky little brat and you have a tantrum if you don't get your own way. Well, you're the one who's having a tantrum, not me, and I haven't been anywhere near his van. You heard him in the pub and he was threatening Gary. He didn't. Saying him. he would make sure he didn't have to work with him and then you go straight out and use Nicky's tools. No, I didn't actually. I went straight to the site in Presswich and told the boss that I quit. You did what? You can check if you don't believe me. I might not like Gary, but I'm not going to steal off him. And to be honest, I'm pretty gutted that you could think that. I think you owe an apology. Seb, I'm sorry. Oh, I just forget it. I'm off to the job centre. Tell you what, I'll finish making that bottle. It's due a feed in a few minutes, isn't he? Oh, I can't wait for his welcome home party tomorrow. All the family are obviously going to want cuddles. Are you sure this part is a good idea? Uh, how do you mean? Well, we don't want him catching anything, do we? Nobody's got any coughs or colds, so he should be all right. You have sterilised, haven't you? Of course. And you've cleaned everywhere, Daniel. I mean, proper, proper cleaning. Sinead, stop worrying. It's not a speck of dust anywhere. I've even disinfected the worktops. Right, good. No, that's good. That's good. Right, OK. It's great I... having him home, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Thought we'd have a face to face, seeing as we weren't getting very far on the phone. Should learn to control our temper of yours, Gary. You know, that's a bit hard when someone's nicked my tools. Well, I think I'm entitled to something, don't you? Seeing as there's no sign of that 15 grand you owe me. Jobs around here are scarce these days. So why were you stupid enough to chuck in the one you already had? Look, I know you and Gary had a fallout, but packing in your job seems a little bit extreme. Don't you think I wanted to lose that work? You know, I made up I was when I got it. Then why give it up? Because some of us have principles. What's that supposed to be? I'm not working with that load of cowboys. Gary Ann and the others were working on that factory roof, and then it collapses. What does that tell you? Um, that the roof was beyond repair. Or that they cut corners. You can't go around saying that. This is my son's business. But he's not running it, is he? Gary is. 
And if you hire cheap labour, you get cheap results. Jan would not cut corners, neither would the others. Starting rumours like that is dangerous. It could put people out of work. Oh, what? Like Jan put me out of work? Oh, so this is what it's about. You know what? Sarah was right. You're just a sulky little brat who needs to grow up. Look, I've got some cash coming in. When? Well, it's supposed to be soon. I'm working on it. They always say that. It begins no. to get on your nerves after No, the but I have, though. I have. I just... I just need more time. The trouble is, Gary, you've had more time. You've missed the last three payments. Yeah, I know I have. Which means there's a late payment fine, which makes it 20 grand in total. Oh, what? Due in full as of now. How am I supposed to get that? You signed the contract. You should have read the small print. Yeah, I can't afford to pay that, can I? Oh, Gary, Gary. How are you ever going to make your way in the world with that kind of attitude, eh? Look how well I'm doing. You want to know why? Because Khan isn't in my vocabulary. As far as I'm concerned, everything's possible. Yeah, well, this isn't. Oh, oh it is. As I tell you, you'd be amazed the lengths that people would go to for the one thing. Oh, you know, people they don't want to see her. All right, all right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Just, just give me another week. Please. Please. You know what? Because you've asked so nicely, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll think about it. I'll let you know later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Who are you? Why did you hang up on me earlier? Because your ex realised what I was up to, that's why. Oh. Yeah, now he's gone and sacked me. He's what? Yeah. Oh, he's just doing this to get at me. I'm gonna go around there right no, now. No, 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 you're not. I'm not having anyone waiting in for me. Look, he has no right to make those kinds of decisions. He's only stunning him for a bit. Okay, you're still not going round. All right, I'm not ten. Well, anyway, he'll soon change his mind. He can't run that place without enough staff. Right, go on, I'll get you a drink. I thought each of you could say something at the memorial. You know, share a memory of her. One of the closest ones to her. Are you sure you want me to? I mean, I was so horrible to her after Zidane. I... You? got through all that, you forgave each other. Yeah. I mean, you were a best friend. Of course, I want you to speak. So, Verona. Uh, sorry. The memorial, can we all come, or is it just for family? Oh, of course you can. And don't feel the need to wear black. We want to celebrate our life, so colour is fine. How can you talk about celebrating her life when we don't even have the answers to her death yet? Telling each other cosy little recollections when really what you should be doing is finding out the truth. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Everyone deals with their grief in different ways. No, I'm not talking about grief, I'm talking about justice. Why don't you ask you at the door why she's run off? Carla hasn't run off. She just needed some space, that's all. To mull over her guilty conscience. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Listen, I think you should come now. Right, I put a load of bubble bath in, look just how you like it. Oh, thanks for looking after me, love. Yeah, yeah and, and don't get that sling wet, will you? I won't. And don't slip, I put the mat down, all right? Stop worrying about me. Okay. Right, Abby, I've put a casserole in the oven. It should be about half an hour. Don't forget to check on it. Why, where are you going? Back to work. I'm on the switch tonight. But you're exhausted. Why don't I do it? I've done it before. Exactly, that's why you're going nowhere near it, love. <laughs> Besides, I've got to uh, get to work now that Sally's off. Yeah, well, at this rate, you'll be off too, and then you'll be no use to anybody. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Half an hour. How dare he accuse Carly? You can sort of see where he's coming from there. I mean, it is a bit odd, her just running off like that. But she was just upset, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Then why don't we go back to mine and we can carry on planning the memorial, hmm? Yeah, thanks. Oh, Let's concentrate there. Oh, come on! That the workers leave, and then the very next day, while it's supposed to be empty, the roof caves in. Are you trying to say that she knew it would cave in, yeah? Well, she's not Mystic Meg. There is such a thing as coincidence, you know. That's right. She have sorted it. Unless she knew it would cave in. Oh, this doesn't even make sense. I'm not listening to any more of this rubbish. I want you out. Look, look, I just want answers. That's all. Like, why would she abandon her little sister who's grieving for her dead fiancé? Even you must think that's weird. You heard me out. Hey, man, come on, let's just go home, eh? Hey? Oh, well, I wouldn't even have to ask all these questions if someone was doing his job. Have you even wrong, Carla, yet? You must have a number. Look, we're working with the police on the case and everything will be followed up, I promise. I know this is hard, but these things take time. Yeah, you better speed it up. Otherwise, I'm going to sue you for negligence. You get that. Hey, man, please. Can 
it's the way to get things done. Everybody is already doing everything they can. I know you're frustrated. I know you're upset. We just shut up. Shut up and stop pecking my head on and on and on all the time. I am only trying to help. Yeah, well, I don't need your help. And I don't need you. Just leave me alone. Oh, uh, Philip. Hey. Uh, listen, mate, I'm sorry about before. I, I was running off my feet. It was just uh, a bit of a bad time. Yeah, no, it's okay. Anyway, uh, I've been thinking, I, I am a bit understaffed, actually. So I can help out if you still got someone. Fantastic. Oh, I, I've, got, I've got this young girl, um, Chloe. She's done a bit of waitressing before. She, you know, she's going to be made up when I tell her. OK, well, bring her around tomorrow lunchtime. I'll show her the ropes. Thank you. I, I, I really appreciate it. All right. That's well. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just worried that something's going to happen. I feel like I need to be watching him all the time. Look, they wouldn't have let him out of the hospital if he wasn't okay, right? Got to trust them. I know, I know. It's just when we were in the hospital, he was being monitored all the time. It, it felt safe. Whereas now, just look at him. He's so tiny, Daniel, and he's just got us. What if we do something wrong, or what if... Hey, hey. Enough with the what-ifs. He's with the best people, cos we're the ones that love him the most. We're not gonna let anything happen to him. OK? Why don't you go back to bed, try and get some sleep? Gonna need your strength for the party tomorrow. I can't believe she's gone. Little sister. I told her I would look after her no matter what. I just... I just stood there. She was there dying and there was nothing. Nothing I could do. What about... What about some... No. Look, a part of me's just gone. I imagine a life, a life without her. She would want you to carry on. To live the life that she couldn't. And she'd want you to look after Kate. I know. You see, these are the things that you can do for her. And you can still be a big brother. I didn't mean to hurt okay. I know. I know, and I'm sure she knows that too. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her and apologise. <laughs> when I found you two, I am so sorry. Okay. Oh. I need to say those things. I shouldn't have said them. Oh, my 
have a mess on the last time. So, so I will understand. I will understand if you need to walk away. Don't be daft. No, be. I'm serious. I care about you, someone. I know. I, I, I can't think about anything other than Ron. So it's not even in my head for anything. No, it's not fair on you. So, so don't, don't feel guilty if you need to walk away. Is there? Whatever it was, will be long gone. Yeah, right well, now. you called them when I asked you to. I um, I went to see Seb. Oh, you didn't, did well, you? I was angry. And anyway, he denied it, and I believe him. Apparently, when he said that he wouldn't work with you, he went and handed in his notice. They only needn't have. Don't suppose they'll find much use for me now, will they? Have you uh, told them about your tools? Uh, yep. Asked if I could just do labour and said they'd let me know. I'm not holding my breath. Honestly, when I was saying that we just turned a corner. It just feels like the world's out to get us sometimes. Pretty girl. What's the matter, Gary? Scared you might find out about our little arrangement. I don't want you around here. It's not very nice, is it? That one might have been about to do you a favour. I'm sorry. That's better. Don't like us falling out. You know, I've been here before, collecting. Some loser called Joe. Drowned himself, I heard. Good job you all made the sterner stuff, eh? So I've had to think about what you said. Seeing as I'm a generous man, I'm gonna give you until six o'clock tomorrow. Oh, well, I can't get it by then, can I? Uh-uh. Remember, no such word is gone. No, you're having a laugh, it's impossible. Well, this saddens me, Gary. Because I hate resorting to violence. Especially to women. Still, I'm sure it won't come to that. But I've got faith in you, Gary. Even if you haven't. See you tomorrow. Six o'clock. <laughs> We'll be back on the cobbles in Coronation Street on Sunday night at 8. Then straight after at 9, our young queen is faced with a tough choice when the brand new series of the critically acclaimed drama Victoria continues. And if you missed the latest episode of our gripping new crime drama The Bay, it's available now on the ITV Hub. Next tonight, it's Midsummer Murders. <laughs>